So quick uh, draft recap for all our 49er fans out there. Uh, first round, we picked up Solomon Thomas defensive end out of Stanford, and then we made a couple quick trades. And we don't have a pick in the second round anymore because we jumped up at pick 31 to go get Reuben Foster. So we've got two solid pieces added to the uh, defense there. So basically with us running a 4-3, our bookends are going to be uh, DeForest Buckner and uh, Eric Armstead. And then what we'll have is we'll have Solomon Thomas who will be able to rotate on that all along that line in general. We'll probably stick him in a nose tackle or probably kick him out and move one of those guys inside. Uh, we probably have, you know, some guys on the squad right now that look pretty good. But Ruben Foster, just from his tape, I mean, him being at Alabama in a pro-style defense, uh, that just bodes well for us. So if you put, you know, Ruben Foster in there, you've got him and Bo, you know, together. I know we're running a 4-3 uh, now. So, I mean, we wouldn't have too much issues. We could probably put Foster, like, outside linebacker. If Aaron Lynch, you know, can get himself together and stop getting in trouble, we would be able to rely on him more and go ahead and keep him going as far as uh, keeping him at an outside linebacker spot. We can cut Ahmad Brooks because we don't really need him. He's an older player, and he's pretty much just sucking up money at this point. So, I mean, you know, if you've got, you know, your three, your three linebackers, you've got Foster, Bowman and Lynch, that's solid. And then on your line, you know, as far as right now, you've got Sodom and Thomas, you've got Eric Armstead, you've got DeForest Buckner, and then we just plug in another guy to play that that D tackle position. You know, we're our deep our front our, our front seven has now become a lot better. And it's gotten better. Cause if you notice last year, Buckner, he picked himself up really, really good last year so like as the year went on he only got better and better so he was on an upper swing so we just need Armstead to get up to snuff and play just as good and then uh you know we probably need to draft ourselves a couple of DBs you know because our defensive back build has been suspect for years I'm very glad we cut Tremaine Brock but for right now um as far as the draft goes if you're watching the draft don't watch the second round because we have no picks unless by some freaking nature chance we move back up into the second round because there's a guy that we want, a guy that we like. Of course, with John Lynch, he's obviously going defense because that's where we need most of the help. The offense is going to continue to develop, but uh, the offense is more so Shanahan's uh, deal, and he's more of a plug-and-play type guy. He takes just whoever plugs him into the system and does what he needs to do. But for right now, first-round picks, once again, Solomon Thomas uh, and uh, Ruben Foster, Two very good pickups and pieces for the defense. I would have liked Malik Hooker. I don't like the fact that he's in Indianapolis, but I can tell you right now, if they picked him in Indianapolis, he will be their next Bob Sanders. He will be their next Sova, as he proclaimed himself to be one time on NFL Network, because when he, when he hits you, it's over. But I think Malik Hooker is going to still be a great person for the draft, and he's going to do them you know, so much justice uh, because their safety position is just – it's almost non-existent, but uh, look out for us in the third round unless we just decide to shift up into the second round, but that's the report for right now. Stay tuned.